Hello, I'm Tom Ellis and I play Lucifer in the show Lucifer. This show of Lucifer is taking the idea of the devil being bored and fed up with his job of being the devil, so he decides to move to Los Angeles. We pick him up about five years into that venture. He owns a nightclub, he drives a fancy car, he lives a playboy lifestyle, but ultimately, I don't think he gets much gratification from that. A friend of his is murdered, and the police believe that it's an open and shut case, whereas Lucifer believes it isn't, so he takes it upon himself to investigate his murder because he wants to find the person responsible and punish them, because he's good at that. His path crosses with Detective Decker, who is the only person he's ever met on Earth who his powers don't work on. And his intrigue towards her is the thing that then drives the series forward. The character of Maze, played by the lovely Leslie Ann Brandt, is, for want of a better word, Lucifer's minion. I sense your disapproval, Maze. What is it? She is his loyal servant and demon who, in the guise on Earth, tends the bar and looks after his nightclub Lux. But more importantly than that, she's his protector. So were he ever to get into trouble or whatever, she would always be there to protect him and look after him. But she is desperate to get back to hell. So the character of Amenadiel, who is Lucifer's brother, or one of Lucifer's brothers, played by D.B. Woodside, he is so worried about the fact that Lucifer has left hell. And that if Lucifer isn't there punishing people, then Dad's going to ask someone else to do it, and probably him. What I love about the relationship is they are brothers. So we allude to the fact that at one point they used to get on as brothers, and then the dynamic of parenthood and the roles that were asked of us has sort of created this diversity. So his main objective is to get Lucifer back to hell. When I first got the script for the pilot episode of Lucifer, it was written by Tom Capanos, who created Californication, and he'd written this brilliant character. He is someone who kind of doesn't want to be the devil anymore, and he's going through an existential crisis about is he the devil because he's intrinsically evil or just because his dad decided that he was? So my inspiration was taken from that Tom Capano script and then there were certain things dotted around the script that gave me clues as to what I wanted to do. One of which was music. Lucifer is a big fan of music and there was very specific musical tracks in the show from the Rolling Stones through to ACDC. I basically took that notion as well as what was on the page which was very much like a character from a Noel Coward play and decided to take the two and I thought if, if Noel Coward and Mick Jagger had sex, this is, this, is, this is what happens. So after the pilot was made, Neil Gaiman, who wrote the original Sandman comic that Lucifer appeared in, contacted me on Twitter actually and wrote me several direct messages just to sort of tell me how much he enjoyed watching the pilot, enjoyed my take on the character and very much that like I had his blessing in the direction we were going in. And that for me was a huge kind of like confidence builder about what we were doing with this. We're often faced with the question, how does this differ from the comic? And the truth is, quite a lot, but um, not to the detriment of it, I hope.